When you're closing out the audit, it really is one of the most difficult parts of the audit. Um, you're going to present what you found. You're going to present deficiencies. Um, you know, your auditors should be trained to provide the suppliers, suppliers with notice of a deficiency or a deviation um, as soon as it happens, so it's not a surprise during the closeout session. Um, many times, uh, some of the auditors that I've worked with, um, they like to save a lot of those, uh, you know, big ticket items for the closeout meeting, for the surprise factor, and I can tell you each time it does not turn out well. I usually have about 60 minutes allotted for the closeout meeting, and if you do types of things like that, that they last for two hours or three hours. Um, it, it never, never ends well uh, when you surprise them at the end. So you want to keep them um, abreast of all the information um, as you're finding it. Um, again, if you're presenting a deficiency, make sure that you um, give them some constructive advice on how to remedy it. Uh, don't ever tell them this is how I want you to remedy it, but you know, giving them some pointers or maybe some, have some ideas um, you know, really is, is very helpful and kind of softens the blow uh, as well. Um, again, you can offer assistance to ensure the continued flow of quality components or services. Um, you know, again, you can tell them that you can be an ongoing resource um, if they want to kind of, um, you know, bounce some ideas off of you as to how to fix things. Um, certainly keep that door open. Um, it really creates that, um, that good uh, relationship um, for a long-lasting business uh, uh, relationship with the, with the vendor. Uh, 